Hello, hola, and namaste from around the world to your classroom. This is Roger Alexander. In this video, we are going to cover the basic concept of impact a work in progress inventories or process costing. Process costing is a method wherein the products we manufacture go through multiple processes or departments. Each department costs are then added to the next department so that all the costs can be finally allocated to the units produced. Process costing is generally used in manufacturing units like steel, so vegetables, oils, chemicals, etc. Under process costing, the costs are captured for each process or department. Work in progress or process inventory refers to partially finished goods that come in between raw materials and final products in the production process. The impact of work in progress in a process costing system is that we have to track all the costs involved in different departments so that we can allocate the costs appropriately to the product. Process costing becomes more complicated when there are both beginning and ending work in progress inventories in multiple departments because the costs stored in the beginning work in progress were incurred during the prior period. A decision must be made about how to handle those costs. Further, you got to do the calculations for all the departments involved. For example, in the graphic illustration, you can see that in a steel factory, the raw materials go through different processes like melting, skim and alloy, mold and extrude, before becoming the finished goods. Each of the processes has costs attached to it, like direct labor, direct material, and manufacturing overhead expenses. Therefore, a decision must be made on how to handle the costs in the melting department, the skim and alloy department, and finally the mold and extrude department before the final product reaches the finished goods to be sold in the market. Some of the common mistakes could include not ordering, measuring demand, or controlling inventory between departments, which could result in higher than necessary storage costs in between processes. Let's take another example. If you're a bread manufacturer, as the graphic illustrates, you go through different departments to get to the finished products, the bread. Generally, you have three departments, the mixing, the baking, and packaging. Let's start with the cost of the mixing department. It is direct materials, which is the flour, sugar, water, etc. The direct labor, which is the people working in the mixing department. And finally, manufacturing overhead, like the rent, utilities, etc. for the mixing department. The baking and the packaging departments will also incur the same kind of costs during the process of making the bread. Each department cost, which is also called the working progress cost, has to be tracked so that we can allocate it to the finished product, the bread. Therefore, the basic impact of working progress on process costing is trying to track the cost of each department so that we can allocate the cost to the final product. Please feel free to explore the impact of work in progress on your own or check out more about this topic on Check.